Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let me go ahead and quickly show you how to solve this problem called not registered on network. Now you might have this problem when you just try to make a call from your Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus or Ultra. Now, let me tell you this. This problem can happen for your device, SIM card, and your network issue. Now, if you want to solve the problem, there are a couple of things that you guys can try. Very first thing that I would recommend you to do is simply swap down from the top here, enable airplane mode for about 10 seconds, and after that, just go ahead and turn it off. Quickly after that, just go ahead and restart your device. Now, let's say you just enable the airplane mode and you restart your device, but it's still you have the same problem. The next thing that you want to do here, you need to just eject your physical called sim card or if you are using eSIM card then all you have to do here you have to just open up your settings then you have to tap on connection then tap sim manager just turn up your eSIM and turn it back on or if you're using the physical sim just eject it and insert it back again to solve your problem well quickly after ejecting or let's say turning off or turning back on your sim card if you still found that you have the still the same problem the next thing that you need to do just head over to your settings on your android phone and right after that you want to scroll down here and simply find out this option called general management once you come over here you want to scroll down again and tap reset now, if you come over here, you will see this option called Reset Network Settings. Well, now, if it's the problem is happening for your network, then choose Reset Network Settings, tap Reset Settings. Now, draw your pin or pattern and tap Reset again. And after that, this is going to reset your network and this is going to solve your problem. Well, let's say you did all of the process, but still you have the same problem here. Then the next thing that you want to do, you simply can switch your SIM card. Now, sometimes if your SIM card is damaged or not working on your device, then this issue can happen. So, switching to another sim card can actually solve your problem well even after switching your sim card if you still have the problem then all you gotta do is just go ahead and communicate the samsung support to get further help hope you find this video useful if you think so leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and i'll speak to you later peace out